How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to fix one of the most annoying problems in the whole Mac universe and that is the other storage. Let me show you. So if you tap on the Apple logo and then you go to About This Mac and then tap on Storage and wait a few seconds for it to load, you're going to see that there's a category, a very annoying category called Other that generally takes up a ton of your storage. So as you guys can see, I have like six gigs of available storage and over 20 of this other storage. And I bet you guys may have much, much more than that because my hard drive is quite small. I know people that have hundreds of gigs on this other storage and it's pretty much impossible to delete it. There's no way to go to your files and delete it or use software to delete it. There is only one way to fix this issue. In order to actually get rid of it, it's not really complicated at all, but there's only one way to do it, as I said, and you gotta reset your Mac. You gotta factory reset your Mac, so format your Mac OS. Before you quit, don't worry, I know a lot of you guys hate this word, hate formatting, think it's super complicated, it takes hours, but it's not like that. Formatting your Mac is much easier nowadays and you just gotta follow a few steps, honestly, just a few steps. But before you do that, it's very important that you save your files because as you probably know, resetting your Mac means you're gonna lose all your data. And trust me, that's the only way. You gotta delete everything from the Mac in order to delete the other storage, okay? So make sure that you go ahead, go to Finder, uh, find your iCloud drive and like save all your files. Just manually save all your files. You can use, of course, iCloud drive, your cloud service of preference. You can use your thumb drive. You can use a hard drive. Doesn't matter. The only important thing here is after this process, you will lose all your data. So it's very important that you save all your files, okay? Extremely important to do that. Uh, make sure to save your photos, absolutely everything. And the final piece of information is do not use Time Machine, okay? If you use Time Machine to back up your files, Time Machine will automatically save the other category as well. So it will save all those files once again. So when you restore from your Time Machine backup, those files are coming back. So don't use it. You're gonna need to manually save all your files again to, the, to, to uh, your cloud service, iCloud Drive, Dropbox, Google Drive, whatever. Just make sure to save all your files and don't use Time Machine. Okay, now, without further ado, I'm gonna show you how we can actually get rid of all of the other storage very easily. And I'm gonna show you how to format your Mac right now. And I'm finally gonna show you how to get rid of the annoying other storage and of course i'm gonna prove it to you after i'm done let's go we're gonna need to go to system preferences then tap on apple id and then we're gonna need to go ahead and tap on overview and then sign out keep in mind that depending on your mac os version maybe it's gonna be down here the position of the sign out button may vary a bit but the important part is to sign out from your apple id all right, so sign out, then uh, you can keep a copy, whatever. Um, it doesn't matter because we're gonna delete the whole thing. Um, and then of course, sign out and remove cards. So we're gonna sign out and remove the whole thing. Please pay attention to those warnings, especially the ones regarding iCloud. So for example, this one is saying that iCloud Photos is still updating. So maybe for you, you have photos on your Mac that have not been uploaded to iCloud, meaning that if you just completely turn off, um, you may lose those photos. So pay attention to those iCloud stuff, to that iCloud stuff, to make sure that everything on your computer has been uploaded, okay? In my case, I already know, so I can turn it off. Um, I can delete from Mac because uh, I don't want it anymore, so I can delete from Mac. Uh, we also gonna need to put in the password, so our Apple ID password for a Find My Mac, as you guys can see right here, just to turn it off. So after typing your Apple ID password, you can go ahead and continue. As you see, I forgot uh, my Apple ID for the first time. 
I mistyped something, so continue. And after a few moments, it's gonna automatically sign out the whole thing, and you're gonna be presented with the system preferences screen, uh, and you're gonna see sign in to your Apple ID, so you know that your Apple ID has been successfully signed out and removed from this computer. And last but not least, we can close system preferences, and open up messages or iMessages depending on your macOS version. Then we're gonna go ahead and tap on messages, preferences, and as you can imagine, we're just gonna sign out from iMessages as well because for some reason, uh, it doesn't do it automatically. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on message. And then as you guys can see here, there's my Apple ID there and my number and everything. I have blurred all that info just for privacy reasons. But as you guys can see, we have sign out. So you can go ahead, sign out and press on sign out once again. So then as you guys can see, it just quits and opens up again, this time without the Apple ID. So now we're ready. So I'm sorry that it actually takes a few steps, but we have to do it just to make sure everything is done perfectly. And now all you have to do is turn off our computer. But before we do that, it's very, very important that you do this process while plugged in to the charger. As you guys can see, I'm plugged in. My Mac is charging, as you guys can see here, and I recommend that you do that as well. Do it while you're charging because if your battery dies on the process, uh, you may have issues. Okay, so make sure to do this while you have it plugged in. So now, all you have to do is actually uh, go ahead and shut down the computer. So you press and shut down and then shut down again to turn off the Mac. So the next step is to put the Mac in recovery mode. And that's the only step which there's a little bit of a difference depending on what processor your Mac uses. So remember I was talking about the M1 chip Macs? Yeah, that's it. So if you have a normal Intel based Mac, which pretty much everyone does, okay, uh, is the one which has an Intel Core i3, i5, i7, you're gonna follow the first method. If you have an M1 chip, so the brand new ones that are just uh, introduced, you're gonna follow the second method. I'm gonna show both. So first, we have the Intel based, which is this one, is the Mac I have. So all you have to do is turn it on, so press the power button, and as soon as you see the Apple logo on the screen, you're gonna press Command R. Okay, so Command R right here on the keyboard, Command R. If you have an M1 chip Mac, you're gonna again press on the power button, and you're gonna keep holding it. Okay, so you're gonna press and keep holding for five seconds, and then you're gonna get to the same screen. Okay, so pressing the home button, so the computer is starting, Command R. So as you see, it's instant. Press on the home button, on the power button. You see the uh, Apple logo. Press Command R and keep holding. So keep holding. You're seeing my hands. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding until we see the loading bar below the Apple logo. Okay, it may take a few seconds. So just bear with me and be patient. Right now we see the little bar. So we can let go. There's a loading bar, we can let go, and the Mac will start up in recovery mode. It's gonna be the same thing for the M1 chip, so you're gonna press and hold the power button, and you're gonna keep holding until we see uh, the, the same loading bar. And then we're gonna get to this screen, which is the macOS recovery, which may be a little bit different depending on your macOS version, but it's pretty much gonna be the same thing. Um, on all, all the latest versions of macOS, you're gonna see your profile picture or your name. So you're gonna see your uh, login. So you're gonna tap on that and then tap on next. And then you're gonna put in the password and that password is your Mac password. Okay, just to boot it up. So it's not the Apple ID or anything like that. And then as soon as you're logged in, you're gonna see uh, the recovery screen. So with all everything you can do, and first we're gonna need to go to disk utility. That's the tool we're gonna use to reset and delete everything and all the data on the Mac. So click on it, click on continue, and then you're gonna see your disks. And as you can see, we have two disks. We have Macintosh HD and Mac OS based system. So we're gonna be playing with, we're gonna be managing the Macintosh HD. This is very, very important, guys. So Macintosh HD is your hard drive, is where all your files and documents and apps and everything is stored in your Mac. So is your hard drive, that's what we wanna delete. And here on this graph, you can see how much we have used and how much we have free. So we just have, you can just see that there are a ton of gigs that are used right now, occupied by my files and all. 
Below that, we have the macOS based system. And we do not, we don't want to play with this, okay? This is your base operating system. This is the OS itself. We don't wanna delete it. We don't wanna play with it or anything like that. If we delete this, there's gonna be a hassle. So don't play with it, okay? So let's go back to Macintosh HD. The first option, that's, I can't stress this enough, okay? So that's what we wanna delete. All you have to do now is go ahead and tap on Erase. So click on Erase and then um, you can change your name if you want to. I, I recommend not to. Don't recommend, the, don't recommend to change the format or anything. Just click on Erase and uh, let it do its thing. Okay, so it's gonna erase all your data and all your files from Macintosh HD. Now it's just a matter of waiting. You can hit done. And as you guys can see, it goes automatically to macOS based system for some reason. But again, just do not play with this or erase anything. Go back to Macintosh HD. And as you guys can see, some of the storage have freed, but not the whole thing. So go down to Macintosh HD data because there's a little partition on every Mac. There's gonna be this little partition. So you have to see that you still have quite a lot of storage used, as you guys can see right there from this gray area. So go down to Macintosh HD data, and then you're gonna to need to manually delete it as well. Okay, so go ahead and go to the minus button. Again, it may vary a little bit depending on your computer where this minus is delete it and erase it and you're gonna need to get rid of that as well some people have a ton of uh sub uh macintosh ag data 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 delete everything okay so if you have anything below macintosh hd you're gonna need to delete it until you see this you see that it's completely empty completely free and as you guys can see now you have successfully reset your Mac. You have no info, no data, no apps, absolutely anything in your Macintosh HD. Now all you have to do is go up to Disk Utility. You're going to go to Quit Disk Utility because now you're done. Uh, and then we're going to need to reinstall Mac. So we're just going to reinstall the operating system. As easy as that. So tap on it, hit on Next and then you're gonna go ahead and install and it's gonna probably say that you have to be connected to Wi-Fi um, yeah you have to do that manually so you can go ahead and hit on OK um, or go straight to the Wi-Fi bars connect to your Wi-Fi network connect put in your password and hit OK and then it's gonna go back again <laughs> right and as soon as that is connected you can go back again and install Mac OS and this install Mac OS is that Mac OS based system that we had that we didn't play with that we didn't touch if we touched that Mac OS based system we wouldn't be able to reinstall Mac OS so this is the process we're gonna erase um, reset the Macintosh HD, so delete everything from the HD and then reinstall the Mac OS. So then just hit next, 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 select the hard drive, which is Macintosh HD, which is completely empty and completely free for us. Continue, continue, and now it's just a matter of waiting. We're pretty much done with the process right, process right now. So now we're ready. As you can see, we have the welcome screen, meaning that the computer is ready to be set up as a brand new machine. So you can go ahead and set it up. And then after setting up the Mac, the moment of truth. Let's click on the Apple logo at the top. And then about this Mac, the first option, did it work? Let's see. So now click on the tab storage and then wait for it to load all the categories. And as you guys can see, everything is empty, everything is clear, and the other storage is only taking up five gigs. That's right, only five gigs. So we reduced to five gigs. And you may be wondering, okay, Daniel, but it didn't really work. Like you had 19 and then you went to like five, so then you reduced like 14 gigs. But guys, that's not the way you should think. Let me explain. It's not like I reduced 14 gigs. So for example, if you have 100 gigs of other and then you do this, you're gonna go to 86. No, this is not how it works. There's a minimum. There's like a minimum of other, which is like five gigs. And then that's how, that's where it's gonna go down. So if you have 100 gigs of storage of or your other category, it's gonna go down to like five or a little bit less or a little bit more. That's how you should understand, okay? So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful to you. 
that's it that's all i can show you the only way to fix this issue if you like this video click the like button down below and the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified whenever i post a new video and also comment down below i really do appreciate all your feedback and i love to read all the comments and reply when i can so that's it if you liked it i'm very glad again unfortunately the only way to clear your other storage is resetting but that's it see you later guys bye bye